Bowman here from BW1.com and it's time to give you my unboxing and review of the Kodak Post Digital Picture Frame. Now this picture frame not only shows you obviously your digital photos here but also has unique features of connecting to the internet and allows you to send pictures to the frame via email, Facebook, the Kodak Gallery, stream right through your PC or from even your cell phone right here too. So um, first thing I'm going to do is going to do a quick unboxing. give you a microfiber cloth to also keep the screen clean. You have manuals, guides, and instructions, and looks like it's uh, some warranty information there. Alright, this is the frame. We'll take a look at that in a second. Just put that over here. And let's check out what we have for accessories. Inside we have the AC adapter. And we have the American clip for the AC adapter. So it looks like you can probably buy different clips for different countries as well. So that's pretty cool snaps in just like that. Alright, that's pretty much it for what comes with it because there's no software needed or anything like that. So um, we'll take a tour around the frame here. So the frame itself is a 7 inch digital frame, 7 inches right from diagonal from here to here. It comes with a resolution of 800 by 600 megapixels. It does um, come with about 512 megabytes of internal memory but if we look here on the side you can actually add more memory to it via the multimedia cards right here to uh, add more storage to the device. You have USB, you have the different um, media card readers here at the top and below as well. So it pretty much takes any card that you that, that your camera possibly possibly has. Alright, continuing on the hardware tour here in the back we have the power button, you have the settings button, you have your uh, power jack, DC jack here for power, you have the stand here, so it stands up like that. And that's pretty much it for the hardware tour around the device itself. It does come with Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is built in. It's um, Wi-Fi is um, 802.11G and B supported, so you be, it'll work for most routers that are out there, especially the ones that are out today. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna power it up, set it up, take a tour around, and see how well the digital frame really works. Okay, let's take a deeper look into the functionality of the digital pulse frame. Now though this part here is a little bit darker but I couldn't adjust the brightness on the screen so I adjusted it so that you can at least see the functionality that's going on on the screen here while I scroll through some pictures and just give you an idea how the frame works. The first thing you obviously need to do here with this is before you can do anything to set it up you do have to create a Kodak account. It'll tell you that as you set up the frame you head over to I think it's uh, KodakPulse.com it'll tell you the exact website when you, when you load up the frame for the first time. You go there, you create an account and then it'll walk you through uploading pictures from your computer and you can also upload via Facebook. You can set up an email address for it as well so people can email directly to it and it loads up right into the frame. And you can also give other people permissions to also send content to the, uh, to the digital frame as well. So that's the first thing you're going to need to do, which we've done already here and I have it set up. So I've uploaded some pictures and I've got uh, one, um, one of my Facebook um, photo albums also linked to this as well and it's already downloaded on the here. And we'll just take a quick look at how the functionality works. So. Here um, I have a cool picture of the Santa Monica period when I was in um, LA earlier this year. Um, as you can see here, gives you some um, information about the picture, the name, and Kodak means it came from the Kodak uploads, but um, you swipe left to right here. This is actually from Facebook, you can see the Facebook icon. This is a wrestling show I recently went to, it was a 900th episode of Raw, so I uploaded some pictures from that. And you just swipe here, and uh, Santa Monica Pier again. And there you go, just swipe here, you can swipe like that. You can swipe back just like this. If you tap on it here, you can go left to right if you want to as well. They have a collage mode, which is pretty cool. So if we hit that button up there, brings up a cool little collage for each picture. And then over time, the pictures will swap out. So as you can see there, that picture down there changed. Picture up there changed. And anytime you want to look at one particular picture, you just tap on that picture. And it goes right to that picture and you get the information and stuff about it too. If you hit that trash can, I'll obviously delete it from the frame. Um, you can also hit play and I'll start a slideshow. And you have different slideshow options. We have this on 10 seconds and it's just kind of just wiping away. But if you hit that icon here, you can, I have it set on smart, so it'll do a, it'll kind of do a sort of automatically. But you can have it set to fade every 30 minutes if you wanted to, if you wanted the photo to stay there. Or if you wanted to change every three seconds, you can have it do that. Just as simple as that. 
and um, you have zoom and pan options as well. So if you wait, see it zooms in, and you wait 10 seconds, it'll fade out and go to another um, picture. Just like that there. And it's really just tap on it to stop and then you get the options up here. If you just little group icon up here, this lets you know what um, accounts are connected to this, what albums are connected to this. You can play all, play recent. If you hit play all, it'll just do all of them. Um, also what we have here and um, okay let's just hit the back button here the little checkbox button there this gives you sort of your your health check basically your settings right here lets me know that it's 1% full lets me know that it's connected to the router it's discovered and what percentage of uh, what percentage how well the quality of the connection is lets you know that it's connected to the server here the Kodak Digital Pulse server that's the account that you sign up for how many pictures you downloaded here you can check if you hit about that allows you to go in there it tells you some more account information also we can check for frame for the updates for the frame network help exit just exit out like that other than that that's pretty much it for the frame it's a very simple frame much like most of Kodak's products they make it very simple and easy to use as you can see there this is a very good frame for somebody that's um looking to give it to somebody that's not as tech savvy I would say that's not a tech savvy person you know it's very parent proof grandparent proof you can just kind of just set it up send it to them set it up and just send the pictures and let it all auto load themselves and you just pretty much show them how to you know hit left to right swipe left to right to, to swap between pictures and even on the Kodak website you can also change the settings on there so they can do different things so you can change the settings same settings that are in here you can change on the website and it'll just send it over to the frame and it'll change it over as well too but, um, but other than that, um, I like the frame. The only, only thing I'm not too, too big of a fan of is you can't adjust the brightness of it from what I can see. Other than that, I definitely give it a thumbs up and recommend it for anybody that's looking for a very simple frame and also for themselves or to send to the uh, to their uh, parents or their grandparents. Very Something very simple and easy to use. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. This is my review of the Kodak Digital Pulse frame, reminding you to head over to BW1.com and check out the full written review with pics. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here, follow us on Twitter, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.